Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will be doing a fun video. This is just a theoretical shop my stash kind of video. So if I could choose to start my perfume collection all over again and only having the perfumes in my present collection to choose from, which fragrances would I be choosing? So the category that I will be basing my choices from would be versatility and fragrances that I can use in many different situations, fragrances that I can use in my work, and ones that I know I can use in the daily. I know that I have different patterns and different choices with my perfume purchases but right now I will just be thinking of versatility so this is the first area of my perfume cabinet here at the back I have all my Van Cleef and Arpels fragrances as you can see and then I also have my Dolce & Gabbana my Frasai different fragrances all, most of them are niche here and these are the ones given to me by Gabby so starting from my Van Cleef and Arpels if I could choose only one fragrance that I know I can use on the daily that would be Orchid Vanille. I know this is something that I can use in many different seasons. I love most of the fragrances that I have from Van Cleef & Arpels. I also love Bois Diamond. I love every single one. But if I can just choose one from my Van Cleef & Arpels collection, it would be Orchidy Vanille. So if you go back here, if I could choose one from Dolce & Gabbana, I would definitely choose Limper Trees. It's a beautiful fruity fragrance that I can wear throughout the whole summer. And if I would, for example, go back to the Philippines, this is something that I can wear. And there are a lot of fragrances here, so I will not be choosing one from different house. I'm randomly choosing fragrances that I know I can use a lot. So out of my 2787, I will be choosing Hamaka. This is my ultimate favorite. This is like a coconut kind of fragrance. It has coconut, it has sand accord or marine accords, but it's just a beautiful soft fragrance. It's powdery in the dry down. I'll be choosing that one. And also of course definitely whiff of a waffle coat. i talk about this fragrance a lot in my fragrance videos and this is one of my most favorite in my fragrantica account i chose this one as my signature scent because this is something that i just pick and use if i don't know what to wear so from this area right here i think i know i have all my kiali's and i love all my kiali fragrances and i love all these fragrances right here of course i will be choosing rose all day i think it's this one here at the back this is my ultimate favorite i will also be going over all the fragrances that i chose and only try to choose maybe 10 or 15 out of the choices that i made i also love every one that I sampled and ones that I own from Essential Parfums, but given that I have other fragrances with similar scent profiles, I think I'm just going to go back to these fragrances. And also, I will be keeping Ooh La La by Teo Cabanel. This is a beautiful sandalwood fragrance. So I think that will be it from this area. I chose six fragrances. And I think I will be adding Auto Portrait. This is like a resinous, sweet kind of fragrance. I'll be choosing this one because I know this is something I can wear in whatever situation, whatever occasion, and whatever season as well. well so let us go to this area. This is where I keep most of my Serge Luton's fragrances, all of my Theodoro Scalatini's fragrances, Saint Jordan, Parlemois, and also here I have all my travels from Unui Nomad. I have five travels here. I also have Whispers in the Library and Coffee Break here. I have my Un Jardin line by Hermes, all my oil perfumery that I am obsessed with. I am really obsessed with these ones and the travel sizes given to me of course by emmy thank you so from these fragrances this is one of the hardest um areas because i love every single one so i know i'll be tempted to choose for example guimauvdin well but i already chose orchid Vanille. so i think for a fruity fragrance i will be going for mile high 38 i'll be putting this one up here and then for my sana jordan fragrance since i already chose a sandalwood fragrance you guys know I am loving Sandalwood Temple. So I'll be choosing a different fragrance. I think I will choose Tiger by her side. This is a spicy, aromatic kind of fragrance. So for those events where I want to feel put together, for those formal events, I'll be using this one. So I'm going to add that right here. And now comes the difficult part because these are my two favorite houses. So I don't know where to start. I also have my favorite fragrances here. Nuit Confidences is also one that I would really want to add to my collection, like to begin with, theoretically. But I already chose Orchid Vanille and it does remind me of Nuit Confidences. Or Nuit Confidences reminds me of Orchid Vanille, you know, in the entrance. But um, 
since you know if i can just think of like having a vanilla fragrance that i know i can use anytime this would be a fragrance that i know i would choose but since this is a travel i still don't have my full bottle yet so i think i'm just gonna have to go with orchid even -y. this is some i don't know how this one will be for example in the philippines in hotter or warmer climates in warmer weather so um I would really want to add this. I think I'm just going to put this here. Okay, I can't decide. I'm just going to put that there and um, we're going to go over every single one that I chose. So, okay, now it's for the hard part for my Theodoro Scalatini's fragrances. Um, I really want to choose Santal Wood. I have been using this one lately ever since i got my golden secret collection i really love this fragrance this starts off boozy and leathery but then as it dries down it's that very smooth milky kind of sandalwood then blend it with labdanum it's just a beautiful fragrance and then we have a beautiful musk rose this is musky rose it's a beautiful rose fragrance so i think out of all of my um theodoro scalotini's fragrances i would definitely be choosing coffee addict i would want to choose i am beautiful but then i have a fruity fragrance here in mile high and i am beautiful is like a fruity cranberry fragrance so i think i'll be choosing coffee addict so this is something that's good to have starting a collection so we're gonna put a coffee fragrance right here my serge Chouton's fragrances I don't know this is the most difficult choice i already have a vanilla fragrance i already have a sandalwood i think i'm still gonna have to go with santal majuscule because this is like a different fragrance it has sandalwood yes but it also has some gourmand quality to it as well it has cocoa and it also has rose so it's a floral powdery gourmand but it's also woody as well so we're gonna add that here now let's go to this part right here i have a mixture of fragrances Based here on this area, you can see that I have a lot of my favorite fragrances. You can see Illicit, you can see Too Willy, Linter D, Intense, I have Black Perfecto. Of course, a beautiful iris fragrance here that is um, Juno Noir and we have our boozy fragrances at the back. But, you know, thinking of versatility and just thinking of, you know, fragrances that I know I can wear on a daily basis, I would definitely be choosing jimmy chu illicit and also thinking this is also an affordable fragrance when you're starting out this is something that's really good to have so this would be my choice for those you know if you want something caramelly if you want something floral as well with a hint of that um ginger so i'm gonna add jimmy chu illicit here and then out of this whole area right here i think i'll be choosing one more fragrance and that will definitely have to be Lintrudy Intense. I can choose Twilly as well because this is a tuberose fragrance. But out of, for example, all these four beautiful tuberose fragrances I have here, I am more drawn to Lintrudy Intense, even though I am obsessed with Ralph Lauren Woman Intense. I will choose Lintrudy Intense because this is something I know I can wear wherever. This is something that I know I can wear in the Philippines, for example. This is a very creamy tuberose bubblegummy tuberose fragrance it has that vetiver and that sesame in the entrance so beautiful so we're gonna put it right here this is gonna be so hard to try and um choose only 10 fragrances from okay so i think i am done with this area right here it's so easy for me to choose fragrances because i know this is just a theoretical theoretical kind of um shop my stash now we are here in the even more difficult area so i don't know which one to choose you guys i am drawn to okra 2020 but since i already have mile high 38 it would be pretty redundant to choose this fragrance and um i still don't have a fruity floral a crisp fruity floral in my choices above so i am more drawn to monterey couture no this is something that i can wear here in iceland and also in many different climates as well in the philippines so this is a beautiful floral fragrance floral fruity fragrance so i'm gonna choose this one here i'm not really so sure if i'm gonna put it up there and um, i'm really drawn to choose donna edp because this is a citrusy fragrance i still don't have any citrusy fragrance chosen above there drawn to tussardi's donna edp mon Pre couture and also of course this is her i love every single one here you can see that i have my zero fragrances i put good dents in them and uh, i really want to choose rare tiffany as well i am obsessed with this since one. i already have um givenchy linter d intense and you also have other floral fragrances I think I'm just gonna have to 
skip this one I'm not so sure this is so hard so out of these three fragrances i think i will be choosing this is her because i still don't have something in this scent profile i know this is a sandalwood fragrance and i already have two sandalwood fragrances here in my choices but this is more of like a floral sandalwood that's like tonic as well so i'm gonna put it there at the back i already have i think 15 20 fragrances already So out of these two here i think i'll be choosing mon Prix couture i still don't have a citrusy fragrance but since i already have like a tropical feel of fragrance and hamaka and something fruity in mile high 38 i still don't have that fruity floral so i'm gonna have to choose mon Prix couture edp this is such a beautiful scent this is very long lasting performs very well so i will be putting that there now we are down to my classics this is the most precious area in my perfume collection here i have all my classics and vintages and this is a perfume collection that i am aiming to buy or add more fragrances um into so um here in this collection if i can just choose one, it's so hard i want to choose every single one but if i can just choose one fragrance would really want to choose heliotrope blanc but since i already have powdery fragrances in my choices above i will be choosing tocad by rochas this is such a beautiful floral vanilla it's powdery in the dry down this is that very classic dressed up kind of fragrance and it's good to have a fragrance like this if you're starting your perfume collection so i'm gonna put this one here at the back and I realized that I don't have a boozy fragrance in my collection, but you know, there is a boozy quality in Rose All Day. There's also a boozy-ish quality in Jimmy Choo EDP as well, Illicit EDP. So I think I am good with my choices. So are we really sure? Are we really sure? Yes, we are. We are going to close this one. And if I can choose only 10 out of my choices, I don't know if I can, we're going to try that. So let's go back to my choices. I have here Auto Portrait by Olfactive Studios. Out of the choices here, I don't have anything like this fragrance. And this is something that I feel like, you know, I need to have in my collection. I don't have any other fragrance in my collection right now that is very similar to this one. So this will be one of the choices that if I could start my perfume collection all over again, theoretically, this is one that I will be definitely starting with. And here we have Ula La. This is by Teo Cabanel. It is a sandalwood fragrance. This is a unisex fragrance. It's woody, it's powdery, but it also has some leathery qualities to it because of the auras. And it also has tobacco in one of the notes. I know, I am confident, just like with Auto Portrait, that this is a fragrance I know I can wear in the Philippines as well. So for my vanilla fragrance, I have Orchidy Vanille by Van Cleef & Repels. I could have chosen Nuit at Confidences because I know I'll be getting a full bottle of that one. Or I could have chosen other vanilla fragrances in my collection. But this is one that will be a staple in my collection. It just has many different dimensions to it. It has floral qualities, it's powdery, it also has citruses, but it's gourmand and it's vanilla. Beautiful, versatile, all-around vanilla fragrance. And then, together with that, I think I have to have Whiff of a Waffle Cone. This is my, like, outgoing, out there, loud, obnoxious fragrance. If I can just choose one, I know I love many different sweet fragrances. For example, here in my um, Project Pan, I could have chosen um, La Nuit Tresor, EDP by Lancome. I could have easily chosen Fancy by Jessica Simpson because that is a very obnoxiously sweet fragrance. But if I can just choose one, really, from all of my fragrances, it would be Whiff of a Waffle Cone by Imaginary Authors. And then I chose Limper Trees. This is a fruity fragrance. So I decided to choose this one. I could have chosen Donna ADP. They are not similar scents, but they belong to that same scent category of that crisp, um, summery scents that is perfect to wear during spring and summer. This is something that I love no matter what. And then speaking of summer, I chose Hamaka. This is 
my favorite you guys it this is basically when you look at the notes this is more like a summer fragrance it has that marine accord and it has coconut as well and florals but i have been wearing this one to work this is a very long lasting fragrance and scent profile wise this is something that i really prefer because it's simple it's quiet it's not all over the place it's not super loud so this is something that i really love it also has some lactonic qualities to it because of the coconut so that's six fragrances and i have a lot of fragrances so if i can just choose maybe 15 let's just say 15 being very realistic i have to have linter the intense this would be like my only like straight up white floral out of my choices so that's linter the intense a tuberose fragrance and then i think i will have to have rose all day i don't have like a jammy super sweet floral fragrance yet in my choices and then Nui at Confidences, I think I'm just going to have to um, put this back because since I already have Orchid Vanille, I have that kind of vanilla fragrance. You know, I don't really know how this fragrance is really. Like ever since I got this travel size from Emmy, I, I have been loving it. I've been enjoying it. But I don't really know how this one works during warmer weather. So simply for that reason, I will not be choosing this one. But I know that will forever be in my collection. So... I don't have any fruity fragrances, so that would be Mile High 38. I could have easily chosen Eau Crusade, Angel, Eau Crusade 2020, and many other fruity fragrances in my collection. But this is something that I know I will love whatever season and whatever mood I'm in. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 15 fragrances. I have 7, so that's... 16 okay i think i will be choosing of course since i don't have like a very sexy sensual fragrance i could i mean whiff of a waffle cone can be sexy and orchid even he can be but for that very sultry kind of fragrance definitely jimmy choo illicit edp this has immediately become one of my favorites um i just got this around um, december i think or end of november and it has immediately become one of my favorites so i don't have a fruity floral that would be ysl's mon pre couture a very long lasting fragrance so this one is quite pricey because of course it's a ysl but the performance that this one gives you is just so worth it i bought this is one of my very first purchases this was a love at first sniff and i don't really need to spray a lot so when we just think of versatility when we think of price when we think of like um use per ml or like price per ml or use per um number of dollars this is totally worth it and speaking of worth it that's coffee addict i have to have this in my fragrance because even though i have whiff of a waffle cone like both of these fragrances i would consider very similar they are that very gourmand fragrance i could just choose one but you know for this theoretical shop my stash i have to have both so I will put whiff of a waffle cone right here. So I have space for three more fragrances. I think I will be choosing, of course, Tiger by her side. This one would belong to the same-ish scent category. This is like a stronger or like a very distant cousin of Auto Portrait, but this would be like my dressed up, like dressy fragrance. So based on the choices that I made, I don't really have a fragrance that I know I can wear for those occasions, even though Auto Portrait can be that fragrance. But for that purpose, I would choose Tiger by her side. This is one of my favorites as well. And I think I will be choosing Tocad by Rocha or Rochas. I don't know how you pronounce it. This is that floral fragrance. It's vanilla, powdery, and floral. I know this is something I can wear even during warmer weather. This is perfect all year round, spring, summer, winter, fall. And this is such an affordable fragrance as well. You get huge 100 ml. So when you're just starting out and you want that kind of um, vanilla fragrance, it's more on the powdery floral side. But you have to love your 90s fragrances. So as an homage to my love for the 90s, I have to have to cod Rochas in my collection. Now let us go to the sandalwood fragrance. I have two sandalwood wood fragrances behind here this is her and um central majuscule and i think i will have to put ulala back oh my gosh i'm so sorry ulala i really love you but between you this is her and central majuscule they would have to be chosen because i really love them so i chose central majuscule by serge latons 
this is a different take on sandalwood because it has rose and cocoa as i said so it is a floral powdery but also gourmand kind of sandalwood and then i have my obnoxious sandalwood right here this is not just sandalwood it has whipped cream it also has white floral so this one would more or less belong to the same same ish category to hamaka but this one is of course very refined but in the feel of like having coconut and having you know like that creamy feel they belong to the same same ish scent family maybe not really but you know you know you know what i mean so it's creamy and lactonic so i have here this is her so i think i chose one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So these would be the fragrances that if I could, you know, start my perfume collection again, theoretically, these would be my choices. These are my spontaneous choices out of my entire perfume collection of travel sizes and full bottles, even from my samples. These would be the ones that I think I would be very happy if these were the only fragrances that I started with in my collection. That's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you for sharing a bit of your time watching today's content. This shop my stash slash starting my perfume collection all over again slash choose only 10 to 15 fragrances in my entire perfume collection. Filming spontaneous videos like this one can also be really helpful because it helps me realize or it helps me think of my thought processes when I choose my fragrances. So when I would look back at this video, when I look back at this content, I would know and identify patterns why I chose the perfumes that I chose. I hope you guys help me reach my goal in growing this channel and you can do so by subscribing if you are not yet subscribed to the channel and don't forget to click the notification bell because it lets you know every time I put up new content. Once again, thank you for sharing a bit of your time watching today's content. As I always say, have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you in the next one.